What's up YouTube, Cunningham Sickles back with another video. I know it's been a little bit since I've uploaded, but in this one we're going to do a fish room walkthrough. Um, there's been a lot of changes in some stock we have. We've also redid some tanks, so I'll show you what we've been up to. So let's check it out. All right, so we changed out some stock. We've added stock. And so I'll walk around what's available, what we're currently breaking and working with, kind of what updates are coming up. There's some change, more changes that are coming, so down here we have our first uh, group of Madagascar fish. These are some bleaker eye that we brought in a couple weeks ago. It's a group of eight. So we'll see what we uh, what develops. These guys are in a, just a four foot 120 for right now. Seem to be doing just fine. And then a couple things we changed. We redecorated uh, our Phenachylus, Cetachromus Phenachylus Tanzanian tank. It's a little cloudy because we just finished it yesterday putting the crevice style background in from Universal Rocks. And then I had to set it back up and put the fish back in it. So it should clear up here the next day or so. But one thing that's neat is we got some uh, foam rocks from Universal Rocks as well. So those are kind of floating at the top just to kind of give the tank a little bit, a little bit of a different look than some of the other ones that we have down here in the fish room. And then down here we have our uh, Erectes uh, Miklii. These guys just got moved into the 150. Set up with some driftwood and some plants. These guys are really liking this tank. So we'll see what uh, what develops here with this young group that's growing out. And we still have a bunch of fry available from our current breeders and prior breeders. Uh, we got some Lynchochromus acuticeps or the Malawi Gar fry coming up. Got that tank full, we have this tank full. I do have some other bit ones available. Um, we got a batch from our Lithernot Turney Harbor Island before we ship them out to another breeder. And those will be available as they get bigger. We have a tank of Aristochromus Christii or Malawi Hawks. This is from our last uh, our breeder group before we ship them out. Have some nice, nice group of nasty chromus prostomagone available. I'll show you the breeders when we get over there. Here's some more uh, Malawi gar fry from our group. We have some L393 cheese creep speckles available. They know they're hard to see, but there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of plecos in here. There's a couple there. They're all under there. They're all over this tank. So, got some plecos available. If you're interested, let me know. I also have some super reds and some uh, vinyl personals available too. So, if we keep walking, here's uh, some more fry. These are for auto pharynx species long, long nose nova. Um, first batch of fry we got from the group we have upstairs. And then I also have some pilochromus fry, uh, Rekutanian fry mixed in with them. And then some smaller but more Mylochromus Ericatania fry. I have like four tumblers full of Mylochromus Ericatania fry right now. These guys are pretty machines. Here's some uh, Ningara flame tails we have available. These guys are off a of German line that we brought in from the Wonder of Cichlids. I have some more champs. I do have some champs available, some juvies available, or one and a half inch ones available. We walk over here. This is our our Chamsochromus breeders. And there's a female right there, she's holding again. So these guys have been breeding machines for me. Nice group, we brought it from Trevor and then I did bring in a couple of other males from a couple different sources as well. So these guys need a take upgrade down the road here. And that guy's just a beast right there. Down here we have this group for sale. This is a breeding group of uh, Pacinochromus malomo or VC10s. There's a female holding right there. So we'd like to probably 250 for this group. If anybody's interested, let me know. Um, it's two males and I think there's a sleeper male in there somewhere. Um, could be wrong. Could be just one male and a bunch of females. But uh, again, if you're interested, let me know. Here's our breeder, Mylochromus ericatanias. Again, last weekend did a water change and stripped six females and 
There's still a couple more holding in here uh, somewhere. These guys are just breeding machines. And they're actually getting some nice size on them. This male has got to be seven inches, uh, which I was surprised to see him get that big, but it's really nice male. There's three males in there and probably 15 females. There's one of the females that's holding. This is our Tania Lithronaut from Parabitralis breeders. This guy, is, again, is a nice size. He's really put on some size lately. Um, a lot more, a lot more in the last month. So slow growers, big hat, get about 14 inches. So we'll see, see what happens. But I do have fry available to these guys as well. This is our Pacitochromus species uh, Giselli group. We got some more females coming because this group is very male heavy. I did pull out two males and posted them for sale. One's already sold, but I do have a five inch male available for 60 bucks. I can ship overnight. If someone's interested, let me know. And then we keep walking. Here's the chance we have available. These guys are about an inch and a half. Probably have 15 in here or so. I do have some Rhamsochromus uh, Wally Barracudas that I brought in for me, for my suppliers, so those will be staying for a while so I can go them out. I have five left uh, Mylochromus, five or six, I think five here, Mylochromus Lestraga High Reef Fry available for my old breeders since this is the last of the stock for these guys for the Mylochromus. And then here's the Nangara, the fries off of this male here that I have available. So if you're interested, let me know. And we're doing some different, little bit different things. We got some kill cichlids we're growing out to work with down the road. Um, these guys are really put on some size lately. And then we have some Jack Depsies down here that have again put on some size as well. So we have these guys to, to grow out and work with. Not real big in Central Americans, but I figured I'd give some of them a try and, and see what happens. All right, as we continue to walk through the fish room, we have our wild L33, wild L333 uh, breeders in here. There you can see one there, one's down in this cave down here, and another one in that cave. They have gave us some fry, not tons yet, but we do have, I don't know, there's four or five fry that I've seen in the tank. This trio is available. This is a lot of carb brevinitis trio uh, for 70 bucks. Let me know, I can ship it overnight. Pretty rare um, find from a, a lot of car standpoint, but we bred them, so we want to move them on. And then down here we have an Autofranix Walteri. There's a couple females holding. There's the male right there. We brought in a group again from Trevor with the Nagaras and turned out to be mainly males, so I got a quad I kept back of a one male and four females and he's been busy he's got two females holding in there so we'll have to strip them here's our nasty chromos stroma gum breeders there's the main one of the main males that's been breeding lately and i believe there's three or four females holding in this tank so i'm gonna have to get busy and strip them so i don't lose the fry from these guys and then we have some uh Stigmatochromus melancross. This group's available. There's the male. We'd really like to move these guys. Uh, if somebody really wanted them, I'd do 200 on them just to move them. It's one male, two males with the, one male has a black bad eye, but it's uh, two males and six females. So if somebody's interested, let me know. Again, 200. I'd ship them air cargo though. I wouldn't ship any of my breeders overnight. So just my preference. Whether they're not red caps, this is a group we're pretty working with. We just pulled fry from them, pretty young group. Some nice, uh, nice males, that's for sure, that are coming up in this group. There's another one there. Down here we have some uh, Linochromus artists. It's a Tanganyikan mud spawner. It's supposed to be two pairs. They have yet to breed. I picked them up at the OCA Extravaganza last November. So we'll see what happens. These guys are fun because they're just moving on the sand all around in the tank and build up big mounds and it's crazy what these guys are doing with the tank. But anyways, let's keep going. That's some Nania Lutus in here. We did get one batch of fry from them. We haven't got any fry since, so I need to figure out what I need to do to trigger these guys to spawn. 
maybe a cold water, a water change with cold water would help them. I don't know, I have to see. Pretty new to some of these uh, Central Americans. Down here we have some uh, Lamper Lobus Clipters, just a two pair. Yet to get fried from them, I'd like to give these guys a, a 125 down the road and get more to add to the group. And then here we have our Cobra Chromas, uh, Wild Caught Cobra Chromas Artipinus. We do have fry from these guys available. If you're interested. And then here we have our uh, our Neats, or the Foam Man Trophies as they're called. I posted some pictures yesterday. Uh, the, there's the, the male kind of hiding out. And then you can see they keep moving on. They keep moving the fry. There's a bunch of fry behind them. So they keep moving them, thinking I'm gonna do something with them, I guess, or do something to them. But I'm leaving the leaving the pair and the fry alone to, for now to see what happens. And here we have a rare uh, a lot of kind of aquilorium that we acquired last year. Unfortunately, with this group, I believe it's gonna be there's the male right there starting to color. There's another male in the back. I think there's two females, and the rest of this group is males, which is bummer when you want to breed them so but we'll see what it turns out to be as they continue to grow probably give these guys a 75 here shortly then we have some uh benchenga capoeiros fry available from our prior breeders uh, if you're interested let me know and down here we have some uh, protomelis virginatus it's a young group that we acquired at the the aca last fitters just get this on the camera. But we acquired them at the ACA last July up in Connecticut. So they spawned once, but I didn't get any viable eggs. They're a young group, so we'll see what they turn out to be. Here we have our Ember Famous, and they're saying Feed Me, our Lentrochromus Secuticeps breeding group. There's one of the main, main males. Not looking as blue as he normally is, but um, there he is right there. Obviously, you, you keep cichlids, you know they change their color with their poods. There's another big male right there. So we do have fry available, these guys. I do have two males and two females available too. So if anybody wants to breed, set up a small breeding group or a quad, um, the pairs are 135 bucks if you buy the pair, or I'll do a trio for 200, which is one male and two females. So if you're interested, let me know. I'll keep walking through the mess of my fish room. We've been reorging and. During the pandemic, there's been a lot of stuff that we've been doing around the house and reorganizing the fish, reorganizing stuff in the fish room and everything. So things are a little bit in disarray at the moment. Here's the Cobra Chromos Arnipinus fry we have available. Right there. So if you're interested, let me know. Here's some Mylochromos Enricotania fry we have that's available. Probably another 12 in here and then tumblers full of growing up. Some Nimbachromus living stone eye that's available. I also have a bunch in the ponds outside for the living stone eye, the autopharynx header down that I have available, the shallow floppy eukylus are in the pond. Um, so if you're interested in any of those, let me know. And then here's the Tinea lithernops prayer petralis fry that we have. Some of these guys are getting some nice size on them right there. Um, and here's the Dominochromus species of the Fubu. Some nice orange color on these guys. They're starting to mature pretty pretty good. Um, these guys are available as well. And then we'll walk around the other side. We're prepping to do and bring in another order on next Thursday, Friday, of some more males because we're pretty much cleaned out of single males. So we're prepping some tanks and getting some things around. But right now, what we have for males is we have uh, this Lawanda is available. We have the living stone eye, and somewhere in here is there's the the gar hanging out in the back. Then for more breeding groups available, we have the Shilohtopia eukylus breeding group available uh, for two fifty. It's one male and I believe nine females. So they're hanging out with my Cynodonus multipentatus. I was trying to see if I can get some cuckoo cats out of them in the meantime while I have them, but. Uh, We'll see what, what comes of it. So again, 250 if you're interested in this breeding group, let me know, I'll ship them air cargo. Another group we have for sale as well is our Protomelus species Herte. 
there's the the male so this is one male and six females this group as well as 250 if you're interested in breeding them let me know um, the reason I say two males and six females is there's a female in here that's a little bit deformed so I can send her along for free if you want to keep her you can keep her if not do what you want with her but um, I don't really count her a breeder she's in there if she breeds I strip her and don't pull the fry because I don't know if that's going to be passed on the, the genetics or not but uh, again if you're interested in this group let me know so that's a quick sorry for the long uh, longer video but just a quick tour of kind of what's going on we got a tank we got to work on to fix here with the center brace which which is why we got the PVC pipe on the ground to, to help silicone the the euro brace inside the tank to hold it um, hopefully this weekend or next weekend I'll get around to doing that to fix that tank here's some plecos you can see some super reds we have these guys are loving the zucchini and here's some more super reds that we have available and then in with the nagar is a bunch of uh, albino plecos that are that are available as well and there's a couple over here too so if you're interested in anything i've shown send me a message let me know it be Facebook, Instagram, email, josh at cunninghamcichlids.com, through my website, whatever. Let me know. Get a hold of me. And uh, with that, if you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe. You know, help me grow my channel. I'd appreciate it. And uh, if you already subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't, might as well. Nothing to lose. We're going to be doing a lot more videos coming up here. Uh, I'll probably do a pond update. Those seem to be working out really well. I do have one that's a little bit green. Um, so I'm hoping I can clear that up. But other than that, the ponds are doing really well this year. So we'll continue to do updates on that. And with that, thanks for watching. And hopefully everybody stays safe.